Hello and welcome to the 6MED BMAT online masterclass course. So what we're essentially going to do is provide you with a series of videos where I'm going to take you through the BMAT in a step-by-step -step way. Uh, we're going to address all of the sections and uh, provide you with some sort of expert tips, uh, some very important techniques and the general approach to the BMAT um, and all of the sections including some of the really tricky ones. Um, so just a bit about me. So my name's Hardeep. I'm the 6MED ACE Ambassador and uh, I'm also a medical student at Cambridge. So when I was going through the process, um, I sat the BMAT uh, for Cambridge and UCL and it was a process which definitely had its challenges. Um, I, I felt like I could have definitely done better, but I ended up doing sort of well enough to, to get my offers. Um, so I'm going to take you through the uh, experience and expertise that I have as well as six med as a collective. So the overall aim of the course is for you to get a sound understanding of everything BMAT. So for you to know all of the sections and uh, all of the questions you might be asked, uh, for you to have some really solid action points and uh, general tips for each section. And we're going to go into quite a lot of detail with um, the techniques and approaches as well. And also uh, quite a lot of example questions so that you can see uh, exactly how they're going to ask you things. And hopefully by the end, not only will your confidence be a lot higher, but also you'll be a lot more efficient with the process and uh, in terms of your general knowledge as well for everything for the BMAT. And we're going to go over critical thinking and the introduction. Um, so the thing that I want you to keep in mind is what we've written in big capital letters at the bottom. Critical thinking is crucial for evidence-based practice in healthcare and education. So regardless of whether you're doing the BMAT for medicine or dentistry or vet med, in terms of uh, thinking critically and not allowing biases to affect your thinking and uh, pursuing those sort of scientific principles, um, this section represents a much more important part of what you're going to be doing uh, from now and in the future. So uh, these questions require you to understand the constituents of a good argument and be able to pick them apart, and conversely the features of a bad argument and be able to identify them. Um, so here are the six sort of question styles, or um, you can think of them as the six uh, topics within critical thinking that uh, may be addressed. And we'll go through each one uh, very briefly in turn. But essentially, um, we have conclusions. So that may be linked to what's the main conclusion of the passage. Uh, assumptions, so taking the information in the passage, but then um, adding in extra information, which is obviously not a good way of thinking objectively. Um, flaws, so it could either be um, linked to assumptions or it could be uh, making inappropriate links between things. Um, it could be using uh, an argument in an incorrect way. Uh, there are many different ways in which uh, flawed arguments can be made. Inferences and drawing conclusions, which is uh, the second main question type in the critical thinking part of uh, the BMAT. So this is still part of section one. Uh, and we're just going to go through the overall strategy and very briefly talk uh, you through the thought processes and also crucially how this differs from the first uh, type of question. However, in this instance, you need to actually make the conclusion or inference yourself based on the information that's given. So you can still sort of write out the uh, arguments and the, the premises, but the overall conclusion has to be made by you. And we're going to go through the introduction to problem solving, which is the uh, second part of section one of the BMAT. So by the end of today, uh, you'll have a sound understanding of uh, just sort of the basics of um, what problem solving is all about and just how it fits in with the overall BMAT picture. The types of questions in the problem solving section. So this is just going to be a brief overview of uh, the questions that you might encounter in uh, this half of section one. There are four types of questions overall, and um, here are the, uh, the four in brief detail. So firstly, we have calculation questions, and the important thing to remember is there is no calculator, and therefore we'll go through some important skills that you need to use for these questions. Secondly, data extraction, so all of your data handling skills, uh, interpreting uh, graphs and tables and charts and, and those sorts of things uh, will uh, need to be sharpened. Uh, then repeating patterns, um, which we have a tried and tested method for, 
which I will take you through, and then spatial reasoning, um, which are the, uh, the, the questions which I personally found relatively challenging because um, at, when I sat the BMAT, I didn't really have a method for these. And so I'm going to take you through um, two really good methods that are going to make these spatial reasoning um, questions a lot easier to deal with.